We build a lot of flight simulator stuff from plastic PVC pipe. In our videos, we show two different methods of attaching these pipes together securely. One method is inexpensive construction glue. Another method is self-drilling screws. But which way is better? Well, it depends on the situation. It depends on what you're building. So here are six different ways to compare the two methods. You can consider these, then determine what works best for you. The first thing you might consider is cost. The glue that we use is liquid nails. It's less than two dollars for a tube and you can get a lot done with just one tube. The self-drilling screws cost about five dollars for a box of fifty, but you might run out of screws and have to buy more. For example, Look at this prototype Easy Helicopter Collective. We used a lot of screws on this one part. If you run out and buy another box, then you're spending $10 on screws instead of 5 Maybe that's not a big deal for you, but it's just something to keep in mind. So if you're concerned about cost, score one for glue. Another factor is time. It takes about the same amount of time to apply glue as it does to drill the screws. For example, let's apply glue to all three sides of this T-shaped connector and attach some pipes. Now, let's try attaching three pipes to this T-shaped connector with self-drilling screws. The big difference is that the glue needs to dry overnight. Maybe you just don't want to wait that long. So score one for screws. Does either method require a special skill? Is one method easier than the other? I really don't think so. I think the two methods compare equally. So let's score one for both. The glue can get messy if you're not careful. You need to have paper towels handy and don't get any on your clothes. The self-drilling screws are the easy winner here. The only residue from the screws are these little plastic shavings. So point for the screws. In many of our videos, we show you how to glue the parts together, then look at the frame or measure it to make sure the frame is square and even, then nudge or tap the framework into place. This doesn't work if the frame is assembled with screws. You would have to remove some of the screws, then adjust the framework, and then reattach the screws. So the glue gets the point this time. Are you making a prototype of some sort? You might assemble and disassemble a frame many times if you're experimenting with a new design. Simply dry fitting the parts together may not be enough to hold your experiment together, especially if you place a monitor or controls on your prototype. The self-drilling screws can be used and reused endlessly. See, I've used these same connectors many times for various prototypes. Self-drilling screws are reusable. Now, I did not compare the costs of a caulking gun or a drill. I'm assuming you have these already. 
So let's take another look at our scoreboard. The screws got a slightly higher score, so why don't we use them more in DIY flight sim videos? We use glue to assemble the frames of the various cockpit enclosures because we're using glue to attach the foam body panels also. So you'll be waiting overnight for the glue to dry anyway. In other cases, we're just trying to save you a few dollars. And in other cases, we actually use both.